Hello, right, so lie detector is what I've got for you today. Lie detector. Can we tell if somebody's telling the truth or a lie? Well, in this particular case, in magic, we have a lie detector with a pack of cards. Check this out. This is cool. Hey! Okay, so this is lie detector. Just want to show you here is all the cards. Okay, so. Mr. Spectator. Yes, that's me. Hello. Right, so could you pick out nine cards for me, please? Okay, so let's go randomly here. One, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, that's correct. I can count. Brilliant. Okay, so here we go. All the cards here. All right, you can just tell that they are about as random as you like. I did notice there I've got two nines, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that nine back, and I'm just going to grab one from the middle of the deck, just there. Okay, so we've just got these about as random as we possibly can. Okay, so I'm going to ask a spectator, please, could you just pick any one of these cards up, please? Any one you want. Okay, so let's just say they go for that one there. Okay, so uh, there we go. I've just got a, a little stack of cards there. Okay, so look at the card. So just in this case, have a look at the card just there. Okay, all right. So that's the card. So I'm just going to put that in there and just put them into the pack just like that. Okay, let's just... Uh, Mix up the cards ever so slightly here. I can do that again. Okay, and there we go. All right, so now this is called lie detector. Now that means that you can either lie or you can completely tell the truth and you can chop and change that as and when you like. Is that okay? All right, okay, so I've got some real questions. The only one I ask that you tell the complete truth on is the very last question. So I've got five questions to ask you. Is that okay? Yeah, right, brilliant. Okay, so here we go. Let's have a look. So first of all, just to determine uh, your card, was your card, was it uh, clubs? Was it heart? Was it a spade? Or was it diamonds? Okay, and let's say our audience members say it was a heart. Okay, so we're going to go H-E-A-R-T. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much. So I'm just going to take off the bottom card and I'm going to take off the top card and put them over there. Okay, so now the next one I need to get, and remember you can lie or tell the truth, it makes no difference to me. Okay, so was your card a picture card or was it a number card? Okay, so it was a number card, you say. Okay, so there we go. We go N U M B E R. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much for that. Okay, I'm just going to take off the top card and the bottom card. Okay, so next one. Now. Tell me what your card was. Remember, you can tell the truth. You can completely lie. It makes no difference. Was your card an ace, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, an eight, a nine, a ten, a jack, queen or king? And let's say if they said it was six. OK, so S, I, X. OK. The card up on top. There we go. All right. So now, thank you very much for that. I'm going to take off the bottom card and I'm going to take off the top card there. Okay. Now, this one. Tell me, and remember, you can lie or tell the truth. Was you lying or no? Was you lying? Yes or no? Yes, you were lying. Okay. Y E S. Thank you very much. OK, now we come to the last question. Remember, as I said before, I just need to know on the last question, what was your card? 
Two of Clubs. There you go. Two of Clubs. The lie detector. Okay, so how did that happen? Well, let's go and have a look. So I normally pause it in this case, but I'm not going to now. Okay, all right. So how does this work? Whoa, it's, this is a good one. Okay, this works on a nice, simple mathematical principle. Not that you've got to do any math whatsoever. There's just some simple rules, simple things just to remember here. It's nice and simple. Okay, so you get them to pick out nine cards. Okay, and they can shuffle up these cards. They can do whatever they want to do. They can swap out the numbers. They can do whatever they want. Okay, but when they are ready, just get them to pick a card. Let's do a different card this time. Okay, so let's go for the pick this one okay so there you go so in this case it's going to be the uh, the four of spades you don't need to know that as the magician of course now here's a little thing the card in this particular case needs to go into the fifth position now there's lots of magician-y ways to kind of get into uh, get this into the fifth position uh, that can get very complicated something like that very simply, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to count four cards there like that, hold them as a stack there like that. And when they finished, say that's brilliant. And then just put the cards on top of there and then just put the four on top. So now, you know, it's in the fifth position because you just put four cards up on top. OK, and then I'm going to do this little thing here, which I'll just quickly cover over. If you hold the cards from the top and the bottom and just use your thumb there like that, you can count the cards. And all we're doing here is just reversing the deck but while you're doing that you can just tell them oh we're just gonna i'll just mix up these cards ever so slightly there like that and you can pretty much do that as many times as you want because remember it's in the uh, fifth position it's got four cards above it and four cards below it okay so the principle of this is the card stays in the middle okay no matter what you're doing here okay OK, so just to go over that the card will be in the fifth position, even though I've done that one, two, three, four and five. There it is. OK, so four on the bottom, four up on the top. So as I said, you can do that. You can just say, I'll oh, just uh, mix up the cards a little bit here. Maybe just take their attention off of the cards just for a moment and say, right, OK. So then you explain the rules. So I'm going to ask you five questions. On the fifth question, I just want you to tell me the truth. Is that OK? But all the rest of the questions, you can lie. You can do whatever you wish. Now, all you have to do here is you have to remember what the questions are. OK, now I've taken a liberty just for this, just to write them down here. Now, you can do the same if you wish. I don't suggest that you have these written down uh when you uh when you do the performance but i'm just going to put these here for now okay you can obviously you can pause on that and you can write it down just for a little bit of memory thing in the beginning here okay so here's the things you need to remember okay so the first question has to be here so let me just hold this up a minute because i want to show you this okay so on this first one you want to ask them was your card Clubs, that's with an S. Heart, without an S. Spade, without an S. And diamonds, with an S. OK, so clubs with an S, heart without, spade without, and diamonds with. OK, it's just a numerical thing, so don't worry about it. But that's how you want to ask it. Was your card clubs, heart, spade or diamonds? OK. And let's say they're going to lie to us because remember it was a four of spades. So let's just say that they're going to say it was clubs. So all we do is from the top of the deck to the table, we just spell it down. So C L U B S. And then all the rest of the cards still in your hand, just place them up on top. OK, now every time you ask a question, take a card from the top and a card from the bottom. OK, all right. So the next question is, and again, I'm going to hold this up for you. The next question on there is number two. Was your pitch, was your card a picture card? Now, I've put slash face there because some people like to say face card. So that works as well if you want to do that. So either picture or face. So let's just go for the other one. So was your card a face card or was it a number card? They'll know what you mean either way. OK, 
So let's say now they're going to lie to us and they're going to say it's a face card. Okay, so it's F A C E. Take the rest of the cards and place them up on top. Take the card from the bottom and take the card from the top. Okay, like that. So the next one, reasonably easy to remember this one. So was your card an ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen or king? Okay, remember, and you can remind them all the way along, they can either lie or tell the truth. Let's just say they're going to lie and they're going to say it's a jack. So it's J, A, C, K. Card up on top. Okay, take the card from the top and take a card from the bottom. Okay. Now, this question, did you lie, yes or no? Let's say they're going to say no, they didn't lie. So you're going to go N-O. Put that down there. Take the card from the top and take the card from the bottom. Last question, they swore to tell the truth. What was their card? And they say four of spades and you turn it over and you're magic. The lie detector works. So there we go. Hopefully that made sense. If it didn't, just watch over this video again. Okay, it's nice and simple. Remember to start off with nine cards and they're your questions. Obviously the last one's not on there. What is the name of your card? But hopefully that all helps you out nicely. And that is the lie detector. Give it a couple of practices. Try to remember the questions without having it written down. Okay. Got to keep a little bit of memory on this thing, okay? And then perform it and have some fun. There you go. That's the lie detector. Be miraculous. You're all awesome. Thank you. Bye.